All right. Now, what's the difference between a right prism and an oblique prism? Uh, check this out. Let's try to draw a right prism. Um, you guys draw with me. First, uh, let's do a pentagonal prism. So we'll do a little, a little roof right here. We have the walls, and then you have the foundation. Um, now, we're going to draw vertical lines. Try to make all these lines the same length. So this one's going to stop short a little bit. This one's going to start short a little bit. Now, this line right here should be parallel to this line down here. That's one way you can check to make sure your shape looks good. All right, there you go. I'm not going to draw the invisible lines because uh, I don't feel like it. a right cylinder. Okay. Um, a right cylinder? That's just... Um, a cylinder. cylinder to the right. Yeah, this is just like a cylinder that's not slanted. Oh. Okay. okay. Oblique means it's slanted. It's just like kind of like someone punched it in the top and it's like now yeah. slanted. This so, one yeah, yeah, they, they have some pictures on the bottom right here. These are oblique ones. Um, let's try to draw the oblique pentagonal prism. Let's see, we draw a little roof right here. We have the walls. Then we draw the foundation. Okay, now I'm going to draw it like this. Ooh, that's kind of bad right there. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Does that look like it's oblique? I think it has to be, like, the base has to be taller. We have to have a taller base? It looks like it's laying down on the bottom. It's a great idea. It does kind of look like it's laying down. I mean, I am so bad at drawing oblique. Maybe if I drew the back, like, the invisible lines, it would help. But it doesn't matter, because uh, we have great pictures right here. Yeah. Like, the oblique cylinder is right here. Let's not draw it. Let's just point at it right here. That's yeah. oblique. Okay, let's do that. Uh, oblique, uh, it's right there. <laughs> Okay, shade in the bases of these oblique figures below. Okay, shade them in, and then we'll I'll, we'll identify the heights. Yeah, what so the this is a base. This is a base. This is a base. Aren't all the faces this on is a base. The base as well? Um. Ooh, on a cube, yeah. For a cube, the cube's hard to choose bases. I still like to choose the bottom and the top, though. So I'm just going to choose the bottom and the top. So those are my bases. Okay, now, for um, the right uh, prism, you guys can just use this side. Because that, that connects the two bases, and it's a perpendicular line to those two bases. Uh, when it's oblique, it's different. Um, okay, like right here is, uh, is the height, and then you could also draw the height like this, and just stop in the middle right there. Okay, th these are both heights because they're, they're right... Um, they're perpendicular to the bases. Okay, this one right here, our height's going to be a little different. Just the middle. You can draw it down the side like this. Do a right thing and then say that's the height. Or you can draw it down here, right down the middle. Oh, no, not no, This actually isn't the middle, but you could draw it to the side and that's your height. Okay, the height still has to be perpendicular to the bases. Okay, so when it's oblique, you're going to have to do other things to try to find the height. Like if they only give you the length of this right here, you might have to use the Pythagorean theorem or something like that to find the height. Okay? But we've done a lot of tri triangle stuff in here, so you should be able to do it. But all the formula stuff for an oblique is still the same as um, the, the right.